Welcome everyone. We are here in Hartford, Illinois at the Lewis and Clark Historic Site. I was here one time back in 2014, 10 years ago, because St. Louis had one of their 250 celebration cakes here. And since this was surrounding area of St. Louis, they had a cake here. Caleb, do you remember that day? No. We don't have much footage, but I do remember coming and getting a picture of the cake. So we're back again. Come join us. Woo. All right, apparently there's also a craft fair today inside. So Caleb, are you up to some crafting? Um, some craft supplies? Sure. Hopefully this craft fair isn't witchcraft. It is Halloween season. It was Caleb all along. All right, here's the Lewis and Clark expedition sign. Does it say where we are right here? I guess we're somewhere here. Is this where we are? I don't know. Camp River, is it Dubois or Dubois? December 12th, 1803 to May 14th, 1804. Okay. Right, I can actually still see the cake inside the door, but there's people sitting in there, so we're gonna have to wait till they leave. But this is where we got a picture of the cake. All right, I'm totally, I'm totally gonna get, I don't know which is which, Lewis and Clark. That's Lewis, Clark. I'm totally buying these. Um, if Nicolas Cage was here, he'd probably want to get a hold of one of these scrolls because there's hidden messages on the back. But. It's not the Declaration of Independence, but it's close. So we're in the store here. It's very heavily uh, Lewis and Clark-ish. No kidding. Yeah. All right. There they are. All right, let's check this out. I don't remember coming in here before. I, I think it may have been closed. Camp River Dubois is a mystery. They don't know what it looked like. They just kind of tried to recreate it from what they thought. I don't think they had electricity. How to build a log cabin. That's a big saw. Here, Kayla, lift. What's that? It looks like an axe to me. A notching axe. Titanic was the ship of dreams. So what, what was this? Some kind of sailboat? Hmm? <laughs> Look at this money. Storage lockers. So this is kind of what their ship would have looked like going up the river. And they cut it in half so we could see what's in it. They got some food in there. All kinds of supplies. This craft fair is kind of dampening the mood. Please look with your eyes and not your hands. I can't really look with my hands. Yeah. Well, so we're not supposed to touch this? Caleb's going to try to load the boat here, keep it balanced. Yeah, you need more stuff. Oh. Oh, 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 you got it. It's balanced. This is one boat that T Pain has never been on. How did they propel the heavy Neil boat? up the Missouri. 
how they do it in shallow water lift, I want to know. Setters. Setters. Men push the boat forward using 18 foot long poles. That sounds horrible. Stupid craft there. Okay. That was interesting. Alright, this is exciting. The cake from 2014 is still here. It's in about the same spot I think it was 10 years ago. We're at the Lewis and Clark uh, site in Hartford, Illinois. Yeah, you know, I can jump over this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Gigi, Uncle Tim, uh, Mama G is here. You can see me in the shadow or in the reflection. And you got a picture? <laughs> I love it. All right, I have purchased a Lewis and Clark plus. They were only $9.95 each. I've been looking for those things. The, uh, the little interpretive center is really neat, but because that craft fair was going on, there's people all over, it was kind of awkward. So it kind of ruined the, uh, the mojo in there. I don't want to see all their gobbledygook. I'm here to see Lewis and Clark. Yeah. But we're heading back here because I think there's some kind of log cabin recreation or something I see I see something off in the distance all right fixed on a place to build huts all right let's walk back here we can see some kind of buildings off in the distance So this is where Lewis and Clark would have camped for a little bit, I believe, before setting off. Then they, then they made their way over to St. Charles at some point. And we got grasshoppers everywhere. Caleb's looking inside. Can't go inside the structures. Just dirt. Just dirt. All right, where was the general store? <laughs> Here's a chimney. Oh, there's like a little window here. You see in here? I don't want to get, I don't know if there's like snakes around. Tuesday on the 13th, fixed on a place to build huts, set the men to clearing land and cutting logs, a hard wind all day. December 1803. Yeah, see, I think they camped here before spring. I thought that was in St. Charles, though, but I'm kind of confused. This one looks like it's kind of falling apart. They had to have these, these padlocks installed so, like, Indians wouldn't get in. I don't think that's the right term. Oh, sorry, Native Americans. I'm sorry, Guardians. Uh, here's some more. Why are there so many grasshoppers? Yeah, the grasshoppers are... This is this should be called, instead of Camp River du Bois, Camp River du Grasshopper. Yeah, so they have some boarded windows. They might have been expecting a hurricane. Oh, here we go. Big chunk. A big chunk. Like they're just the shell. I don't know. I see a shelf, but this place is very disheveled. Kind of cool. What the heck happened on the roof? I don't know. How's that even? Santa Claus? I don't know. Yeah, the roofs are kind of caving in. We don't have a nice path to this one, so we're going to get the grasshoppers. <laughs> Cloudy today, a woman come forward wishing to wash and dough such things as may be necessary for the detachment. 
What is this written in like Shakespeare? What the hell is that? I ordered those men who had fought, got drunk, and neglected duty to go and build a hut for a woman who promises to wash and sew. Okay, I, I can understand that phrase. Good old William Clark. William Clark is buried here in St. Louis at Bell Fountain Cemetery. Not too far from here. There's the building we were just in. What do you think, Caleb? That was pretty cool. Why are we negle neglecting that building over there? Oh. Yeah, there's another building over there. Um, I don't know. Which building do you think uh, Lewis lived in? Um, probably one with the chimney. Yeah, he probably lived in the big one. Where do you think he sent Clark off to? That little, I, I, uh, little, little tiny one here? <laughs> So Lewis and Clark get all the glory, but there was like a whole bunch of men on that expedition. We don't ever hear about them. All right, I think it's time we have a little picnic. What do you think, Caleb? You hungry? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. We have purchased some Subway sandwiches. Oh, yeah. A luxury that was not available in 1803. But I bet Lewis and Clark wish they could have got some uh, uh, delicious club sandwiches. And steak and cheese. Yeah, that's what I got. All right, before we get our sandwiches, I'm going to put Lewis and Clark away in the car. And then we will feast. Dad, 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 where are yep. you walking to? I'm putting these in the car. That's not our car. Oh. All right, well, that was interesting. What do you think, Caleb? Uh, I actually thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah, I've been wanting to come back here for quite a while. So, where should we go next? Any ideas, Meriwether? Okay, that sounds good. Until then, may the adventure continue. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.